All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a marketing campaign in Google ads. Now, in order to do this, you need to have already set up an audience list that's going to target whatever you want to target. So people that have visited your website or something like that, you need to set them up as an audience. I've already made a video on how to do this. I'm going to put a link above and a link in the description below. Go watch that video first, go set up that audience and then come back to this video so that you can actually make the campaign using that audience list. So what we need to do is go into the Google ads account once you've got that done and we'll make a new campaign. So basically you click this button here, hit new campaign. And now you would select what your objective is. I recommend just hitting create a campaign without goals guidance. And now you would select what type of campaign you want to make. So for the purpose of this, I'm just going to hit display. But let's say you want to do search or shopping or whatever, you could select that you would make sure that you've got the conversion goals selected correctly. If these are the conversions you want this campaign to target, you would hit continue, you can name this whatever. So I'm going to go to display remarketing, I'll just put my website's URL in and now you would select where you want to target. So I'm just going to hit New Zealand, I'll leave English, got more settings. Typically, you can just leave all this stuff. Uh, one note that I usually like to do is I like to do this. This is not specifically to do with retargeting, but with Google ads in general, I prefer to just let it rotate indefinitely. And then I manually go in there and optimize the ads. That's just a side point to let you know you don't have to do that. But I prefer to do it that way. Otherwise, you can set the ad schedule, the devices and anything else. If you want to edit these and only target specific times a day or specific devices, you can. But it's not specifically required for the retargeting ad that's more for google ads in general if you're interested in an in-depth guide on how to create and like structure and all the different parts of the google ads campaign go and watch my video i'll put a link above or the description below where it will show you how to do all of the different aspects of the google ads campaign for this i'm just showing you how to make retargeting so basically you would hit next now you can select whatever your daily budget is i'm just going to put one dollar for bidding again go watch my video on the campaign which covers this but for the purpose of this i'm just going to leave it on conversions and now in the targeting options where you need to set this up properly. So you created audiences earlier if you went and watched my videos, like I said, so you will have an audience in here. So what you would do is you would hit add targeting and then you would want to select the audience segment that you created. So if you click that, what will happen is under browse and then your data segments, you should now see the ones that you created. So in the example video, I created an over 25 audience. And so I'm going to select that for this example. So now it would only target people over the ages of 25. So that is the audience that I created in the other video. So go watch that video on how to set that up. And then I can now select that. Now the next important point to note here is you got optimized targeting on what this means is that Google is going to try and find people beyond your specific audience if it thinks it's going to convert. However, that means you're going to be targeting people outside of this demographic. And in my experience, and I think most Google ads managers will agree with me, Google isn't exactly that accurate with this, it might work, but you usually it doesn't. So my recommendation would be to turn that off and let it run without it and let it just do its thing. If you really want, you could split test another campaign with that turned on and see what happens. But my recommendation would be to turn it off. Now, if this is the only audience you want to target, or you can select multiple once you've got that done, you can now hit next. And now you have the retargeting set up. So what's going to happen here is that this campaign is only going to target that particular audience that we've selected. So it would be let's say website visitors or something like that. And that's how you do the retargeting. Now here you would finish setting up the ad. I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this video, because that's not the point. It's more just to show you how to set up the retargeting campaign, you would set up the ad whatever's appropriate to your particular case. Now, if you just want to skip making the ad, what you can actually do if you if you're just setting up the campaign, don't want to do the ad right now, you can just hit cancel and then go next. And now you can publish the campaign without an ad. Obviously, it's not going to run, but you can publish it. So the important part here is the targeting part, which is where we set up the retargeting specifically. And that's the part I'm showing you in this video. So now that we've got that done, the campaign is now set to only do the retargeting. So I'm just going to go and show you to make sure that that's actually set in the audience settings. So we'd hit the campaign. And then under here, audiences, keywords and content, you'd go to the audiences. And in here, you should now see the targeting that you selected. If you hit show table, you'll see here we've got over 25 is the audience targeting that we've selected. So it is applied to this campaign. So we're good to go. So that is how you set up a retargeting campaign on Google ads with the audience that you've done. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you'd like me to coach you on how to do Google ads and SEO for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the Google ads for you or SEO, go to dominatemarketing.io book a call with us there catch you on the next one